Hi YouTube, we are back with another NHL 24 video. We now know who are our last five MSPs for the Style Icon Trio event. So now we know who we can actually choose from when we will complete all the objectives. So today I want to look at the cards released yesterday, also talk about the event. Before we do that, if you enjoy my videos, please make sure you like and subscribe because it helps the algorithm, makes me smile and also more people will end up seeing this video. I really appreciate every single one of you. Without losing any time, let's jump into the video, have a look at the cards and talk about the event. The five MSPs for week two will be Dominic Hasek, Mikhail Sergachev, Artemi Panarin, Jack Eichel, and Ken Johnson. Let's start with the goalkeeper because obviously goalkeepers always will be the worst MSPs because unfortunately how the game is designed you really cannot use anyone expect them to make a saves for you. So we have Dominic Hasek, we have actually two versions of the card. We have Buffalo Sabres and then we have Detroit Red Wings. I really like the different card art. We have Speed Boost, also Defensive Boost or Playmaking Boost, Dangle Boost and Accelerator Boost. The Superstar abilities will be Light Work, Energizer, Whirlwind and the Zone ability will be Contour Tionis. Actually, interesting to see this combo because I don't think I ever use it. If you look at the actual stats, then aggression is 69, rebound control 90, durability 90, positioning 90, speed 99, vision 90, endurance 95, agility 99. On a paper, this is a perfect, perfect card. Also, as they updated the goalies and how they play, the smaller goalies should be now more usable. And in general, this should be a really good card. I would like to try him out, but will I spend some coins or power up collectibles to make him? Probably not. The next one will be Ken Johnson from Columbus Blue Jackets. Blue Jackets are actually getting quite a lot of MSPs and other special cards this year. What a surprise. Playmaking forward and sniping forward with angel dangle boost, playmaking boost and shooting boost. Superstar abilities, elite edges, it's tricky, tape to tape and skilled up. Obviously that's because he scored that Michigan goal. If you look at the hands, all is 99. Not really a surprise. So the card on a paper is very good. He's quite small, but if you prefer smaller players, then this card is really fun probably. You can play him in a center position or left wing. I probably would go with the wing because unfortunately his face of is only 85 and also he's very, very small. If you look at the speed and acceleration and actual skating stats, the skating stats are decent. So yes, this guy will probably be a very good for the straight lining and actually scoring really decent goals with those hands. Next one will be Mikhail Sergachev from Tampa Bay Lightning with two-way defenseman and defensive defenseman, accelerator boost, defensive boost and checking boost. Superstar ability, seeing eye, quick pick, send it and gold shutdown. Probably one of the best, if not the best, defensive abilities. If you look at the skating stats, for example, then the speed is 93, acceleration 95 if you activate the synergies, agility, balance, everything is really good. Hands could possibly be better with the D-King, but in general he's defenseman, so I'm more interested in defensive stats. So if you look at the defensive stats, they're actually very good. Same about the body checking. Probably would expect it a little bit higher, but I think 92 will do. He's not the smallest, but also not the biggest defenseman. So if you are a Tampa Bay Lightning fan or you are just a Sergachev fan, then this card will be really fun to use. Other than that, I still would probably go with other left-handed defensemen we have in the game. Next one is actually a surprise for me. Artemi Panarin from New York Rangers. Not that I was not expecting to see New York Rangers getting a card, but actually a style icon Artemi Panarin. I don't know how I feel about that, but in the end of the day, it's Artemi Panarin. I probably will grab this card as a Rangers fan. Playmaking forward with sniping forward and dangle boost with playmaking boost and shooting boost. Superstar ability is tape to tape, unstoppable force and 1T with zone ability elite edges really really fun. So let's say you activate unstoppable force and elite edges, this card will be fun and I would personally activate that 1T as well because he scores a lot of one-timers from the point. If you look at the stats then the hands are all about 98, pretty much 99, the shooting is also very very good. If you look at the skating stats, I think this is one of the best Artemi Panarin cards at the 93 overall range I actually saw because he have 90 endurance, he have 95 balance, 99 agility, acceleration 94 and speed 94. I know he's small, but like just the skating stats and shooting stats and hands look very, very good. So if you really want to try a usable Artemi Panarin card, then this is the card you need to pick up. Okay, not a secret that Jack Eichel is the number one choice for this week because his custom strides are just different and this card always will play different. With playmaking forward and sniping forward, shooting boost, defensive boost and checking boost. Superstar abilities will be magnetic, make it snappy and silver wheels with zone ability unstoppable force. Unstoppable force, wheels, make it snappy, really good. So that's already something I would probably suggest you activate if we look at the shooting stats, very, very good. Hands, everything is about 96. Same about the skating. Endurance could be a little bit higher. I'm actually surprised to see only 88 considering Panarin had 90, but 
in general, this is a very, very good card. And I think this card will play much better than anything else. What I want to point out about this card is a right-handed winger. So everyone usually use him on the wing. I probably would say you can use him in a center as well if you prefer right-handed centers. I know we just recently get Matthew Barzal, who is also a right-handed center. So it depends if you are using him or you want to use Jack Eichel, for example. If you want, you can activate defensive boost and get that face-off stat even more up. So personally for myself, I probably would say that Jack Eichel is the number one from this week and Artemi Panarin is number two. Just because Jack Eichel and his custom stride always plays very, very good. So you cannot really argue against that. We also have some known MSP style icon cards released yesterday. So let's have a look on them. One of the cards is Mika Zibanejad from New York Rangers. This is the actual style icon. Sniping forward, playmaking forward, dangle boost with defensive boost. So if you want, you can get the phaser stuffs up a little bit. The superstar abilities is 1T, puck on string, beauty backhand, and zone ability is elite edges. Really fun card. I probably would use him on the wing, even if you activate let's say defensive boost, you can get that face of stat up, but I still think then as a winger, he's much, much better. Shooting stat at 90 is already good. Hands are also good. Maybe the endurance could be higher, but we are talking about only a 90 overall card. Let's say if you compare Mika Zibanejad endurance and let's say Jack Eichel 93 MSP, then Mika Zibanejad is a really, really fun card. We also have Milan Hayduk as a right-handed winger. There is a lot of right-handed wingers recently. Born leader, puck on string and snipe. If you activate the basic synergies, you can also choose dangle boost but i probably would go with shooting boost the hands are decent shooting is decent hitting stats also not bad for an 89 card is really good another interesting card to look at is hartnell from philadelphia flyers just because he's a left-handed winger and we didn't really have a lot of them so make it snappy close quarters bakatia and unstoppable force the 90 overall this card is really good if you activate shooting boost you can look at the shooting stats everything is about 95 acceleration and speed 93 agility 90 and balance 92 endurance 87 same about the hands hands are really really good at the 90 overall we also received an 87 nikan tropo card a really good budget center in my opinion left-handed center to be honest because the face of stats are 90 without any synergies activated superstar ability close quarters and unstoppable forces zone ability he's really really big as obviously you know and in general this is a very very good budget card if you're still grinding those objectives i would suggest you pick this card up we also had Matt Dumb and Christopher Tanev. Also for the Pens fans, we have Chris Letanga, the 88 overall with two-way defenseman and checking boost. With elite edges, heat seeker and zone ability shut down. Really good 88 overall Chris Letang card you can actually use because if you look at the checking, the body checking is 92, strength is 92. The skating stats are good, shooting stats are decent and hands are also very good. One thing I like about this event is because it gave us so many different cards to choose from. Not only that it will be fun to grind those objectives because there's a lot of fun cards to try out, also those cards are not expensive because unfortunately the auction house is pretty much broken from day one I, I would say okay not maybe from day one but after the team of the year the auction house just went down and the cards are so cheap so basically the msps are going for around 300k and if you don't want to grind for the objectives if you don't want to waste your power of collectibles you can just save buy one and just use in your team and then sell it if you don't like it after i think 93 overall msp for around 300k is a really good value as every other week we also have five new moments so we have ken johnson moment where you can get a mini pack three gold players and 2000 coins we also have jack eichel moment style icon collectible two gold players and 2000 coins we have another Artemi Panarin style icon moment where you can get a style icon collectible, two gold players and 2,000 coins. Same about the Sergachev moment, mini pack, three gold players and 2,000 coins. And Dominic Hasek where you get premium pack and all you have to do is just win a game playing as a goalie. So if you would ask me who would I choose out of my free pack when I will grind all the objectives, the answer is quite simple. If you're looking for a center, I would go with Jack Eichel because you can use him on a center position and also on the wing. If you're looking for the right-handed winger, then I would probably go with Artemi Panarin because... We just don't have a lot of good Artemi Panarin cards, and I have a feeling that card will play very good. If you're looking for a left-handed winger, I would still go with Svechnikov because the feedback from the community is incredible. Apparently, Svechnikov card plays really, really good. I personally didn't try him out. I didn't try any of these cards out, but if you look at the paper, those would be my three choices I would pick. Again, in the end of the day, you have to choose your favorite player or player from your favorite team so ignore whatever you find online just use the players you like with that being said let me know down in the comment section below who will you choose as your free msp are you actually grinding the objectives and what do you think about the event in general have a good one and see you guys